Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Wagoner. Thank you for joining me for a Tuesday tip. For years, former creosol has been the gold standard for primary pulpotomies. There have been numerous other medicaments over the years suggested as replacements for former creosol, but the one medicament that has consistently shown results equal to or better than former creosol is mineral trioxide aggregate, or MTA. Traditionally, MTA has been packaged as a powder and a liquid to be mixed to a consistency that's suitable for easy placement into the pulp chamber. But the clinical use of MTA has gotten a whole lot easier. Neoputty is a new MTA material from New Smile, which eliminates the mixing of MTA and also helps eliminate a lot of waste. Neoputty is packaged in a syringe as a premixed MTA material. This makes dispensing as easy as applying a moderate pumping motion to the plunger of the syringe. There are no tips because the material is a putty-like consistency that's easily placed into the pulp chamber with an instrument of your choice. Besides being easy to place, Neoputty has a high radiopacity, it's non-staining, and it's resin-free. Because you control the amount dispensed from the syringe, the waste of dispensing too much should be minimal. To use Neoputty, open the pulp chamber and remove the coronal pulp tissue and achieve hemostasis. Personally, I like to use peroxide to irrigate the pulp chamber. Peroxide is a mild hemostatic agent and it really cleans the chamber of debris. But achieve your hemostasis by using a moist cotton pellet and apply pressure over the pulp stumps. As you're waiting for the hemostasis, which will take a minute or two, the dental assistant can dispense a small amount of neoputty onto a glass slab. My assistant likes to use her finger to roll the, the putty into a little ball, which is then easy to place into the pulp. Remove the cotton pellets, place the MTA directly over the coronal stumps. You only need a thickness of about one millimeter of material. Then I use a moist cotton pellet to condense and spread the neoputty into the chamber after it's in place with a Woodson instrument. If you've completed your crown prep prior to placing neoputty, there's no need to cover it prior to cementation of the crown and you don't need to wait for it to set up. If you still have to finish prepping the tooth for the crown, you will need to cover the MTA with IRM or glass ionomer or resin modified glass ionomer so that it doesn't wash out during the preparation. It's as easy as that. Very little cleanup, very little waste. While Neoputty is great for primary pulpotomies, it's also great for permanent teeth. Last week in the OR, I had a seven-year-old with molar incisor hypoplasia. I wanted to avoid a pulp exposure if I could at all, but I did end up with a carious exposure on tooth number 19. Traditionally, this would have been a calcium hydroxide pulpotomy, but studies have shown that MTA pulpotomies and permanent teeth provide excellent results. So this was a great place for Neoputty. Here is an immediate post-op of the MTA pulpotomy on tooth number 19. Now as a final thought, remember, neoputty is not a resorbable material, so don't put it into the root canals of resorbable teeth. I encourage you to give neoputty a try. It's convenient, it's easy to use, and it's been shown to provide excellent clinical results in pulpal therapy for primary and permanent teeth. Thanks for listening to today's Tuesday Tips.